Hi, welcome to the video. My name is Zychronic and today we're going to be taking a look at the Destiny 2 Weekly Reset for May 10th, 2022. So everything that has reset in this week, including these special things going on, obviously the Iron Banner is going on right now, so it's going to be Double Valor, you can get the Iron Banner rewards, etc, etc. On top of that, we obviously have the second week of the Guardian Games, and the Guardian Games goes for three weeks, so two more weeks for the rest of this if you want to get all of the different rewards available. A couple other things that have changed this week, the uh, competitive and training playlist has switched over to Proving Grounds over Light Blade, so not that much easier, but it's different, I guess. And in case you were wondering, uh, the score is currently 5 for Warlocks, 1 for Titan, 1 for Hunter. And uh, there's 21 days in total, you can see them on this little thing here. I guess um, we got enough of a bonus that we finally caught up with the Warlocks? I don't know. Moving on, let's go ahead and get started with the regular weekly reset. First and foremost for the Nightfall Ordeal, it's gonna be the the uh, birthplace of the Vile. Oh yeah, the Parasite mission. I think this is the Parasite mission, uh, where you actually get the Parasite gun. And of course 100k, I do not know, but I assume that Legend's probably gonna be enough. The Vanguard playlist strike is gonna be Solar Singe this week. The Rotating Crucible playlist is going to be Mayhem. And then of course, we also have Iron Banner. Real quick, just wanted to go over the different available bounties for Lord Saladin. Obviously, there's four of them. There's a rotation of seven of them. First one, defeat opponents while assisted by a teammate. Defeating opponents while holding a zone and zone advantage. Completing matches and getting wins. Defeating opponents and opponents of a higher level. Actually, pretty easy set of bounties. There's no ability kills one, and that's that's the one that usually screws me. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? I get something I'm never going to use. Take two, take two, take two! Oh, uh, well. As for the Vaults of Glass Raid Challenge, we have Out of Its Way, taking place in the third encounter. This is gonna be the one where you kill the big Hydra boss Templar, and then whenever he wants to teleport, you just block every teleport. Pretty easy. For the Vow of Disciple Raid Challenge, we have the Looping Catalyst, taking place in the final boss encounter. And if I'm remembering this correctly, you must complete the Symbols phase, which is that first part, without ever losing the Leeching Force buff. And you can split it up among your teammates as long as one of you guys has it, you can't go for the second one. So what do I get if I already have the Air Apparent Catalyst? Do I get a Catalyst times two? <laughs> Can I get it a Catalyst times two? Moving on, let's go ahead and take a look at Ever versus Inventory. Keeping in mind, there are a bunch of event stuff you can purchase for silver, and of course, stuff that's gonna come around for Bright Dust during the, the event. So this is always good to look at. First up, for the Bright Dust option, first of all, we have the Victory Lap Sparrow that looks like this. We have the Power Lift Emote where you go ahead and lift the thing, you know how it do. We got a Ghost Projection, of course, we have the Up for Grabs, which is, wow, this is, this looks good. Let me tell you, Power Rangers are jealous of my look right there. <laughs> Uh, beyond that, for the other Bright Dust section, first of all, we have the Torch Light, which you literally have a torch, you light the light, I think this was part of the first one. We have the Sponsored Shell, it's actually sponsored by Datto, a fellow uh, YouTube and Destiny creator, kind of a nice ghost shell if you want it. We have a Lawn Mower, which uh, looks more like a Zamboni? Maybe not a lawn? I don't, I don't know. It's a, definitely a new one, because it has that little crosshatch design, that's how you know it's one of the new ones. Uh, we have the Team Spirit, which... Uh, this is not a sparrow, this is a ship. I thought it was that sparrow. We have the celebrated and elevated, where it's a multiplier emo, where one person gets lifted up and goes, Yay! Which is fun. We have an ornament for the heir apparent, which looks a bit different. I don't know if it has the class uh, picture on it anymore. It used to have like the class who won. Uh, we also have a ghost projection. We have a transmit effect, which looks like that paraversal singularity. We have the Eldritch effects, which looks like this. We have the sterile neutrino effects, which looks like that. And of course, a bunch of different shaders. Copper brand can look nice on certain shaders or certain weapons. We have the Gloam Strife. I don't even think I've ever seen this before. Byzantium Lotus, which is very weird purple. And then finally, the Bruised Blush. Not a great set of uh, shaders available, but it does depend on what class you're using, and it will be different on your class. And again, make sure you keep in mind that there is an event section. So if you want these stuff and you have silver, and if you want the, the armor set, it is available for Bright Dust as well. You can buy them here. Wow, I have a lot of Bright Dust. I don't, I didn't realize. Uh, but it's all here. Uh, a lot of it for silver, if you want to come and get it. And of course, let's take a look at the gunsmith's inventory, taking a look at the different weapons he has available. He does have a funnel web. Uh, first up, we have a Scathlock, which is under pressure multi-kill clip, which is a nice combo, although not as many range stuff as I would have liked. Uh, steady rounds and flared is okay. Hammerforge is nice. I would have liked to see range match to work, maybe Accurize or Ricochet in this section, but uh, under pressure multi-kill clips, really nice, and I do like 600 auto rifles. We have the single patient, which is a head seeker compulsive reloader. Has range, hammer forge, ricochet, and range. 
Uh, these three are really nice. Uh, these two are really not that great. Obviously, you can craft this as well. We have the Vision, which is surplus one for all. Not a bad combination, although, again, you definitely would like to see a lot more range within this stuff. We have a Funnel, which is Focus Fury Vice. I know that this thing can have Frenzy, and I think Frenzy is probably one of the, if not the best perk to have on these kinds of weapons, as it gives you damage, reload, and handling for basically just being in combat. It has Extended Barrel, has some steady attack mag options, but definitely could be better. Uh, following that, we have the Typhon GL5, which is a Demolitionist one for all. This does come with Explosive Light, although it does not have Spike Grenades either, so not really a great combo. And finally, we have the Crown Splitter, which is a uh, Thresh Surrounded, and it can get Relentless Vorpal, Relentless Whirlwind. Um, it does have Jagged, at least. And of course, if you haven't seen it already, I do live stream right here on YouTube after a lot of these videos. Wow, look at these fireworks in the background. Uh, if you want to come check it out, we often do open lobbies for raids, for Grandmaster, for seasonal stuff, and honestly, we just have fun and it's very casual. And of course, a big thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Specifically, a big thank you to Mom and Dad, Christian Thompson, Kelly, I'll strike Jacob Burke, my next to Dubai, Trans Union Panther, Casey Reagan, for their support on Patreon. That's it. If you guys did enjoy my next video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.